kids and how long they can be unsupervised. So ages five and under, uh, they have to have a parent with them all the time. So you can't have a two-year-old or three-year-old, even if it's Sophie. Um, so <laughs> if they want to talk to me about my kids, sure. Um, and then um, seven to nine, or I actually I don't really remember the uh, the specifics of the policy, but we've actually posted it in our Harbor Blast a few times, and uh, we'll make sure to send that out again so uh, any new uh, residents who moved in will understand what the policies are. All right. Thanks, Pete. Would like to see a pedestrian bicycle path through the gates. A lot of that has to do with the area just outside the gates and security. True statement. So I know a lot of folks would love to see Bayshore connect to our trail down along the waterfront, and that just due to real estate is an impossibility. You guys got any thoughts on that? Is that generally the case? Are, are we talking about the ferry, sir? No, the pedestrian bicycle path through the gates. You can walk through every gate we have, true statement. It, but it's not a don't expect a Bayshore type of bicycle path just outside the gate. That's the city's responsibility. Yeah. All right. But there's an effort to make the approach to the space, uh, I guess, beautify. It's the correct word. They're trying to beautify that. So there's been a grant awarded by I forget who, but they're going to improve the Dale Mabry approach. They're going to put medians in and memorials to, to wounded warriors and a, a lot of vegetation and plants and whatnot to just make it look better because the city has a keen interest in not letting this look like a some military installations out there as you drive up to the installation. I'll just say that much. Security forces is speeding through base housing during school hours. I know Colonel Shaw is here, would love to have the plate number from that security forces vehicle or a video from your iPhone. The news keeps talking about a ferry to Brandon and or St. Pete. Is it likely to ever happen? So we just talked about this in a public-private partnership meeting the other day. It's an interesting idea. What is currently holding this up? is a discussion about the real estate over by Apollo Beach on the eastern side of, Hill, of Tampa Bay. So if the county and the folks who are willing to invest in this are able to work that out and come up with a landing site there, we have a landing site here on base already. So that is not going to happen quickly, but they're still working through it. How will the base be addressing the ISIS threat to military and families with the official release of the Army's intel bulletin on the threat? So specifically, ISIS and other terrorist groups do not target hard targets like McDill Air Force Base. With Central Command and SOCOM here, this is one of the safest places to be in Tampa. So if, there, if you've noticed the construction, the Dale Mabry Gate, the S-turns that we're adding in there, the barriers that pop up, at least once a week, we seem to have someone who runs the gate. We call them gate runners. And we stop them every time. Those barriers and that construction are aimed at that. So the defensive posture of this base, even the, the Marine patrols, you may see the boats going around the three sides of the peninsula, is great. We're very, very fortunate to be as safe as we are here. Outside the gate, I would just ask everyone to maintain awareness. We have an Eagle Eyes program, and we've had folks calling in constantly if they see something suspicious. Everyone in this room and out there on Facebook are our eyes and ears. So please call our security forces squadron or the Eagle Eyes number, and we can put that on the Facebook page and, and continue to make this as safe as it is. But other than that, Americans generally aren't cowed by terrorists. I haven't seen anything that's going to change my behavior and the behavior of my family day to day, either on base or off base, other than just to be aware of my surroundings and be vigilant. Anybody want to say anything about that? Good? All right. Sir, we have a very thought-provoking question from uh, Colonel Godbolt from, on Facebook there. The maintenance group commander would like to know why planes are always flying over my house. <laughs> If he didn't have his name on it, I would have accused Charlotte of writing that. So, that is because of the man sitting next to you. your house, house and my house. <laughs> <laughs> because you fix them so well. All right. We need an intro to McDill class for new spouses. We were here for six months before we knew about the boat rentals on base. I'm pretty sure we have an intro to McDill class. Yes, sir, we do. Um, we have the next one is on October 22nd at 0830 to 1400. It's called HeartLink. Um, and then additionally, I wanted to point out a career fair for all of you ladies who are looking, maybe, maybe males, uh, are looking for a, a job. We have our quarterly career fair. It's going to be at Surf's Edge on the 16th of October from 11 until 1400. And I brought a few of our base, Bay and Beyond. If y'all haven't picked it up, it just came out. It's the month of October. It's the quarter of uh, October, November, December. 
Y'all want to stop that by and pick one up? You bet. Yes, ma'am. Well, we put them out as quick as we can, and then we, are, um, we have them distributed throughout the base, and they mail them. So you should not have to wait three, three weeks into the month. That's good well, feedback. Well, come pick one right here. And the ones that you're receiving in the mail, you live on base? Are you a club card member? If you're a club card member, we mail them to you and they have coupons inside. So it takes a little bit longer for those to come to you, uh, but they are good for the whole quarter. There's like certain dates that are on each of those little coupons. Those are the MacDill bucks. And, and one of the things, because um, those are a little bit old school, so what they've really been trying to do is um, use the, um, oh gosh, what is that app called? The, the Air Force my, Life? The MC2, MC2 app. And that has every single event in real time. And um, it's on my phone right now, as a matter of fact. And it has that heart link. And all, those, and all the different activities that are coming up for the week. Um, but we definitely will check that out to see why it's taking so long to get those out, though. Thank you. So we're a little bit over. I, please, if you feel the need to go or you only planned on an hour or you got a babysitter, just take off. Don't worry. Not, we will stay here and answer questions as long as you guys have them. But let me ask this because... Every once in a while when we do this, when we use the polling software, we get the, the feedback afterwards that we should have asked a different question. So I've got several blank questions. I've got responses that we could use. Is there a question we didn't ask that you guys would like us to ask? And I get that responding anonymously, people seem to love that. You get a lot of good feedback that way. Is there a question that we should ask, though? Is there, is there a question any, any of you spouses would like us to ask? And that's okay, too. All right. While you're thinking, I'll go on to what we had as our last one. So if you could, tell us what we're doing right. Let's end on a positive note. Living on base, there seems to be only one internet provider, Bright House. Is there a way to get a variety of companies to choose from? That's a good question. I know for television, you can use any satellite provider. So DirecTV, Dish, you can go through Bright House. But how about internet providers? DirecTV and Verizon? OK, good deal. Is it Fios? No, it's not. OK. Okay, good deal. Thanks. Hopefully next time this will people will hear about it and we'll generate more <laughs> we'll generate more participation. We can accommodate about seven hundred folks online at once with the polling, so it's great feedback. And we appreciate everything that you guys have brought forward, all the issues. If there isn't something that we addressed, we can go back and ask another question. A lot of our experts are here. If you have a specific question, especially for Colonel Santa Ana, he's willing to stay here all night and answer questions. But uh, yeah. <laughs> So thank you for letting us know about the concerns and what, how we can help make this better. Uh, big picture, I've been to other installations where town halls like this were the best words were feeding frenzies. So this is great. Thank you very much. I feel uh, much better than the garrison commander at my last location. So <laughs> but it's the team here that's making it all happen. So all right. Thanks very much. All right. One last chance. Anything? Anyone want to say anything? Chief, you got anything? I just wanted to reiterate, obviously, there were a lot of questions scrolling through tonight. And I just want to assure everyone in here that every single question, like Colonel Tully said earlier, every single question that is up here will be addressed. There will be answers provided to those, and they'll be provided online to you. So if you asked a question and it wasn't answered in this formal setting, it will be answered. You got a question?